Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Ever Oasis series on the channel. So in the previous episode, I ended the episode off on a little bit of a cliffhanger because we came over here to this cave, and we were right outside of this giant door here, and now, in this episode, we are going to get started by standing on this. So here we go, and let me actually switch over to Miura, and there we go. We should be set, at least I think so. So let me switch over to you, and there we go. The door should open now, and here we go. We're going to go and talk to the guardian of this area. So let me switch over to Alex, and let's go inside. So this is probably going to be a little bit difficult because we're going into an area that is new, and that is the Ostraka Ruins. So this will be very interesting. This will be very interesting. Anyways, it looks like Esna is talking to us. This is the back of the pottery cave that Roto mentioned. The massive pot viewable from the desert. This must be it. Who knows what kind of traps and enemies may be lying in. Wait, you'd better like keep on your toes because you want to make sure that you like avoid any of the traps and stuff. Tap the camera button on the lower left of the touch screen to have a look around from the character's perspective. Look around with the circle pad, uh, tap the camera button again or press B to exit this view. Ostraka Ruins looks the same as ever. It's been such a long time since I've been in this area of the ruins. There's no time to waste, Alex. The Guardian Bastu should be in the deepest lair within. So let me actually stand up here and I'm going to observe. So, what do we have here? Okay, interesting. We see our party members over here, so hi. How's it going? And then, where's Roto? Okay, I don't see him. That's weird. Anyways, there's a chaos plant over there. There's a door over there, and we actually need Roto to go through there. So, okay, here we go. Let me actually do this and then switch over to Alex then do that and now switch over to Roto and activate his skill so here we go roll through that then roll through that and I think I need to roll through that other one but in order to do that we need to figure out a way to actually rotate so I'm going to try that again and hopefully this time I'm actually able to rotate into the other area so here we go let's do this and then go over here never mind that's not happening interesting interesting let's try again go this way what are you doing can I not actually roll into there that's weird let's try again Okay, I'm assuming there's a way to actually, like, control this, right? Maybe. Maybe it's possible. I guess not. Because it, like, stops there for a second, and I'm assuming it's supposed to give me the option to actually go into the other area, but it's not really doing that. So, can we go through here? No. That's really weird. Maybe we actually have to clear out the chaos flowers first, so let's try and do that. Let me go up here and do this. Okay, rather, I'll go up here and do it here. Okay, that didn't work either. Maybe we don't have to clear them out. Maybe I just need to do something a little bit better than I'm doing it right now. Okay, actually, we can uproot them, so... Maybe we have to try and do that. So I'll go a little bit closer and then use the green gale. And a little bit closer. Come on. Just a tiny little bit closer. There we go. Use it again. Still not working. One more try. Still not working. Get a little bit closer. I'm just slowly tiptoeing closer and closer here. And I'm almost like right over the edge. Here we go. One more time. It's not working. Try again. 
Okay, here we go. This one should work. No, it's still not working. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Anyways, I need to try and figure out... Oh, wait. There's a skill I can use here. Okay. So we actually need your skill, so use that. There we go. Interesting. And there's an opponent right there, so let's actually fight them. Here we go. Here we go. Do that. There we go. Take it down. Come on, Roto, do some more damage, because you pretty much do the most damage out of us all. So there's another one over here that we can actually do the same thing to. So let's do that. And I think I actually get what I have to do now. I think I need to go over here and do that right here. And that'll make it so that's covered. And then Roto can actually go on top of this thing. That is actually awesome. I wasn't expecting that, but that's actually really cool. So now he should be able to go right inside. And then if we find this thing over here, we should be able to open it up. So do that. And then they will walk inside. And once they're inside, I'm actually going to switch over to Alex. So there we go. And let's clear out this sand. There we go. There's no opponent there. So let's try the same thing over here. And there's no opponent over here. And none of us actually have the ability to do anything with that area there. So I need to switch over to Miura. And then I need to do some damage here. Because she does the most damage to them. So there we go. We took them down. And I think there's going to be another one inside here. So let me quickly switch over to Miura. And then do that. There we go. And we took it down. Awesome. So now I'm going to clear out the rest of the sand. And then we are going to go into the next room here. So do that. And then there is something back here, so let me actually activate that. There we go. And it looks like that's activating the thing over here, so let me use Miura. And I'm going to use the skill. So there we go. And now we can open this up, so there we go. And we got a eagle mirror. Cool. Very cool. So now let's actually go over here to this other room and let's see what's going on over here. I can actually switch over to Alex and use this. Never mind. I was saying I could use something over there, but it's not really possible. Also, I'd like it if you guys could like step out of the way. There we go. And now I'm going to do the same thing over here, but that's probably going to activate that thing there. And I need to really quickly switch over to Miura and go over here. And I actually missed out on my chance. That kind of sucks. Your walking speed decreases in places with the deep sand. Press B repeatedly to walk a bit faster. Here we go. Do that. And there's a plant right here. So run away. Run away very fast. And then switch over to Miura. And I actually need to switch over to Alex first. So there we go. And now I need to activate this. Then switch over to you. And let's really quickly go over here. So use your skill. There you go. And now you're up here. So let's actually go over this way and activate that. And that should make it possible to go through there. So now I'm actually going to switch over to Alex. And I'm going to try and do something about this plant here. So let's do that. Okay, it looks like we don't really have the skills to take it down. And we can't take it down with the sword. Maybe we can go up there. No. Well, that's not great. But we can go over here and we can mine this thing. So here we go. Let's use our skill and mine. And we got a whirly bead awesome anyways let's go over this way to the next room and before we actually do that there's a crate over here that we can open up 
So let's go over here and break through this. And then open this up. And from the looks of it, it is a sword. It is a sapling sword. Interesting. That sounds cool and all, but I'm not really sure what it's going to do. So we'll find out eventually. Anyways, what do we have here? Let's try and activate this. Maybe it's going to do something. Hmm. It doesn't really do anything. I think we might actually have to somehow send it down here, but I don't know how to do that. Also, there's another area over here, and if I actually do this, I can activate this. So there we go. I'm really glad I actually put Miura on the team. Never mind, because she just activated a ton of bugs. So let's try and attack them. Here we go. Do some damage. Do some damage. And there we go. Keep on attacking. There we go. Take them down. Come on. Okay, there we go. We took them both down. And is anything going to activate because of that? Not from the looks of it. Can I actually do something here? Let me try this. And then I'm going to try and hit that. No, run. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it, they were in the way. It's a good thing we can't fall off, right? Yeah, I think we can't fall off. That's good. That's definitely really good. Anyways, I'm going to switch over to you. And I'm going to activate this. Here we go. And we should be able to really quickly go over here. And here we go walk up here and then open this up and we got a weird looking slab interesting so let me actually get off of there and let's switch the view over this way and let's see what's going on over here it looks like there's a bunch of sand that we need to deal with and inside this pile of sand is one of these things awesome this chaos monster is made up entirely of sand hmm if that's the case Alex then green gale would do the trick don't you think I really wish I knew I could use green gale on this thing earlier but hey that's cool I can use it now so here we go do that and we decreased its defense so now everybody just attack it and there we go we took it down, and I think this one might have another one of those. So let's be prepared. No, there isn't one. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways, let me use that over there, and that actually did nothing. So let's use it again, and we got a petrified branch. So let me actually do that one more time. And now there's a really weird door over here that I don't know how to get inside but we can check it out a red plant with a hole in the center looks like something fits into here interesting very interesting I think I saw something back here okay that's just another area down there so I guess we have to go and check that out and from the looks of it there's actually a warp gate here so let's activate this and then let's save the game here we go there we go and this is actually the middle of this entire thing and we're only 31% of the way in that's sort of scary because that means this entire area is enormous so yeah so now we are roto so let's do this okay that's interesting he can't actually do that that's very interesting because I thought he'd be able to but I guess not Anyways, there we go. We activated this room. Okay. We activated this room, and there's this giant monster in here now. Dodge the giant monster. Okay, let's try and attack it here. Here we go. Do that. And that did absolutely nothing. Interesting. But we're still doing damage to it, so that's cool. That's cool. Anyways that did 34 damage let's really quickly heal up yeah I feel like that's a good idea anyways I'm going to dodge it here we go and now let's target it and do some damage here we go keep on attacking it 
and attack one more time and then take you down. Yikes, that did 15 damage. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, here we go. Come on, take it down. And there we go. We took it down and we got a item there, so that's cool. And it looks like the stuff is starting to disappear, so let's get rid of that. Except we can't. That's interesting. It's a little bit too powerful for us. That's kind of weird. Anyways, let's open that up. And we got the red key. So now we should be able to go back over this way. And we can actually open up the door that we saw earlier. So here we go. Let's walk over this way. And let's walk over to the door that we need to open up. So here we go. We're walking slowly but surely over here. And now we need to open this up. There we go. And where is this next area we are going into? Rather, what is the next area? Because I'm not really sure. So let me do this. And let me go through this. And then through that. So what do we have here? It looks like there's a chest with something inside. It looks like it's a veiled bell. Interesting. And we actually need to get up there, but I don't know how we're going to do that. Maybe I can go over here and activate this. And after we activate this, we should be able to do some other stuff around the area. Can I actually look around real quick? So we need to activate that. And we need to get up there somehow. That's interesting. So let's try and go over this way. And we should be able to do some stuff over here. And from the looks of it, if I actually switch over to you, you should be able to go through here. At least I hope so. So let's do this. Actually, you can't do that because there's something right in the way. That sucks. Let me actually help out here. So there we go. Lift that up. And now I'm going to really quickly mine some of this stuff here. So mine that, mine again, and mine one more time. And then let's mine at this one. There we go. Mine once again. And now I'm going to switch over to Roto. And I'm going to do this. So jump over that and go inside there. And at this point we can activate this thing right here. So... The door opened up, they walked back through, and we can actually activate this. So what does that do? Okay, that actually lifts up the entire, like, sand in the room. So that's cool. Anyways, let's do this. And then that brings a ton of snakes into play. So that's wonderful. Anyways, let's do that. There we go, we did two attacks there, and we took it down, and there's another one over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, let's try and take it down, come on. Where'd it go? Do that. That actually did nothing to it. There we go, and we did two attacks in one hit, and there we go, we took it down. So let me actually activate this, and that should open up the door without any more opponents. And from the looks of it, we're good. So let's go inside here. And can I actually go over here? Not from the looks of it. Yeah, no, not yet. We need another character to actually go up there. So once we do get a character that can actually do that, we'll go up there. But for now, I'm going to focus on getting to the end of this area first. So let's see here. We need to go over here and we need to start breaking through some of these. There we go. We got a twig. Okay, that's a bug. That's a bug. There's two of the bugs. Let me actually do that. Here we go. Break through this. Okay, be very careful and do that. There we go. And do it one more time. Okay, there we go. Let's actually do dodge, 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 and there we go. So now I think Roto actually heals himself up. So if I look at his health, 
yeah it goes up slowly but surely so let me actually switch over to Miura and I'm going to break through this and then break through this and then let's start like getting these sand piles out of the way so there we go and there we go and there we go now we need to break through that and is there anything else over here that we can get right now not from the looks of it not from the looks of it so let's go this way and it would be nice if Roto healed up a little bit faster but as long as I keep him safe then we should be fine so what are we doing inside here let's actually uproot that there we go is there anything over there no there isn't but there is a pile of sand over here so let's do that and there's a plant interesting I think I need to use Miura first before we actually do anything with that plant so let's do that there we go so this sand is very interesting because it actually flows down that way so that's pretty weird anyways we actually need to move this out of the way so let's go over here and let's use the skill so here we go do that and now we need to switch over to roto and we need to go back over this way and we need to do that again so here we go go through there and now we're here on the other side and I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here but there's gotta be something right not that I can see right now interesting very interesting there is some stuff over there that we should be able to check out but we can't really do that right now until we actually go back through and do something over here I'm assuming because there's nothing I can really do yet so we might have to go up here and over this way before we can actually do anything else on the other side so here we go venturing further into the ruins and this activates a bomb thing rather an explosive flower so why are we why are we activating the explosive flowers what are they actually doing here cuz i'm not really sure anyways it looks like we have three options here option a which is that option b which is that and option C which is chaos that's wonderful that is wonderful anyways let's actually target them here so be very careful and do that there we go and now target these two and they both got their defense taken down so let's actually do some damage here here we go He's stuck in the corner so now let's do this there we go take you down and here we go do some damage then take you down and here we go do some more damage there we go everything went well except for the fact that we had to fight like a bunch of evil things so it didn't really go as well as possible but it went well it definitely went well anyways I think we can actually go over this way so here we go we're now on the other side here so I think I should be able to do that and then if I actually send Roto over there he should be able to deal with that plant so let me actually switch over to Roto and here we go let's go all the way over here and then we need to interact with this plant here and then Roto should be able to go through here so there he goes and now he should be able to do something here so what does that do interesting it looks like it stopped the sand okay so that should make it possible to walk over there now so that's awesome that's really cool 
all Roto had to do was walk through like a little bit of sand and then he had to turn into that ball and then we were able to make the sand stop and now we can go to a new area so that's awesome anyways here we go let's go down here and then let's walk through here so here we go there's a bunch of explosive flowers and then there's this giant cool looking chest that I'm going to open up with Alex so chaos just covered it and there's a bunch of snakes now so that's wonderful anyways I'm going to switch to you and here we go do some damage there we go and there we go now let's fight the other one here we go do some damage there we go come on attack it one more time and do that okay this isn't good because it's actually doing a lot of damage and it looks like something is going to come out of there and it's a giant scary snake why is the giant scary snake targeting me there's also a small scary snake okay here we go it's a sorpent interesting and it did 16 damage yikes that's not good okay dodge dodge oh no oh no heal up heal up I don't have any healing items so let's actually target him here we go here we go take him down there we go we took him down and that is very good because if we had waited a little bit longer then we would have lost one of our team members and that would not have been good anyways we got a mysterious key and the mysterious key is probably going to open the door that is somewhere over here so there we go and now we need to go on to the other side of this door so that's interesting that is interesting indeed Oh wait, all I need to do is actually go over here and press this button. There we go, and I don't actually have anything to heal you up. That sucks, because I do kind of need to heal you up, so that's not great. That is not great at all, but we'll figure it out eventually, because we should be getting to the end here, and there's actually someone there interesting hi how's it going I don't know who you are you look pretty evil I don't think that's good so here we go oh you no longer look that evil you just kind of look evil with that mysterious coat you have anyways let's see here what business might someone like you have in these lands explain yourself oh you see well I'm the chief of an oasis that's sort of been overrun by chaos Oh, your oasis is overrun by chaos, is it? That is most unfortunate. Regardless, I strongly advise against going any further. I have to go here. Like, it's necessary. Huh. You still intend on pressing forward. I warned you all I could. Well, I appreciate the warning, but hey, it's okay. It's okay, I'm still gonna go through here. You may call me Shoot for the time being. Farewell, proceed with the utmost caution. Okay, sure. I don't know who that guy was, but he was kind of odd. He was a bit strange and scary. So, I wonder if we'll meet him again. Anyways, I have a strange feeling about that guy. I'm not really sure he'd be a good addition to the Oasis. And what did he mean by saying we shouldn't go any further? Alex, you'd better be extra careful. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be extra careful, but first... I'm going to heal up right here because I should be able to heal up. There we go. And I think I'm actually going to end off this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Ever Oasis series on the channel. Bye, everybody.